Excuse me. It's not going to be the Senate bill. As you know, it's in conference committee now. It's going to come out. The bill is going to be a compromise. And bottom line is, regardless of what version comes out, this bill is not good for Massachusetts. Yeah. It's going to cost us jobs. It's Mr. going to cost us very real jobs at a time when we cannot afford it. But, Mr. Brown, let me ask you this question. It's on a lot of people's minds. This, this, you said you're for health care reform, just not this bill. Right. Uh, we know from the Clinton experience that if this bill fails, it could well be another 15 years uh, before we see health care reform efforts again in Washington. Are you willing under those circumstances to say, I'm going to be the person, I'm going to sit in Teddy Kennedy's seat, and I'm going to be the person that's going to block it for another 15 years? Well, with all due respect, it's not the Kennedy seat, and it's not the Democrat seat. It's okay. the people's seat. And uh, they have a chance to send somebody down there who's going to be an independent voter and an independent thinker and going to look out for the best interests of the people of Massachusetts. Right. And the way that this bill is configured, I'd like to send them back to the drawing board because I believe people should have insurance, not just this particular bill, because it's not good for the entire country. You're talking about an additional trillion dollars of cost, a half a trillion dollars of Medicare cuts. And military people, if you're veterans, you're going to have effects, uh, cuts in uh, TRICARE. And it's not good. We need to go back to the drawing board. Nobody has confidence in this bill right now. All right, let me ask you. I'm going to be the person. I'm going to sit in Teddy Kennedy's seat, and I'm going to be the person that's going to block it for another 15 years. Well, with all due respect, it's not the Kennedy seat, and it's not the Democrat seat. It's okay. the people's seat.